Hey, so I am outside of Petrungrung, showing you guys like the spirit house in the background. Um, I just got back to Pattaya this morning, or like this afternoon, uh, and I came to afternoon training actually to uh, cut some weight because I thought I was fighting on Saturday, but that fight got canceled last minute, so uh, I'm not anymore, and now I'm just cold, so I'm still wearing the sweat jacket. Um, but when I got back to the gym, Yod Kun Pan, the elbow hunter, was uh, teaching in the small ring, and so I took the opportunity when he was done with that lesson to jump over and show him uh, the short clip of my elbow from my last fight that's kind of inspired from stuff that he does but I trapped the arm first and then through the elbow and uh, so I showed it to him and I was like what can I do to improve on this because I felt like maybe by like goom which is like bending forward and kind of um, hunching that I could get more power on it um, and he totally was excited by it he's like it's oh it's a beautiful elbow but it's slow because you trap the arm first so he was showing me how not to trap the arm first which actually just turns it into his elbow where you like rest on someone's bicep and then come across but you kind of like bow into it um, and he ended up just giving me like an impromptu 20 minute lesson on uh, how to do that elbow, uh, how to change the elbow that I was doing already um, and then how to kind of do a turn with the knee uh, instead when you have the arm trap. So he was turning the arm trap into a, an opportunity to turn and then knee and then after you've kneed that's when you throw his elbow um, because you're kind of open for it there but he was giving me a speech about how you kind of um, bait people into what you want to throw. He said that he actually became the elbow hunter after one fight in Bangkok where he cut a guy twice with his favorite elbow, which is like this lead uh, lead elbow that's very, very soft on the top of the hand and you just come over. Um, and he said that after that, everyone knew to block his elbows, so he had to change them. And uh, as he got better, as he developed, because he throws elbows from everywhere, he's the only person who can throw from literally anywhere. Elbows are always open for him. Um, he basically, because people knew he was going to throw elbows, he had to develop ways to do it from all over the place. And so he started uh, baiting people and he knew where he could throw them from whatever people were doing. Uh, so that was pretty cool. Uh, got a little bit of a lesson from him, got to talk to him about it and showing him my fight was really exciting as well. So uh, good day to be back. Um, I'll be back at the gym tomorrow because I'm not fighting on Saturday. And uh, fortunately that should be opening up another opportunity in another place, but that's how fights go. So. Um, good day with the elbow hunter and good day with my elbow and I'm excited to be working on it because now I have a few different tweaks for it so talk to you guys later